Welcome to the Country Boy Tested Layer. Here we are in the office today. We're going to go over a couple of little things here. Don't worry, I'm not one of the people that's all off in the videos, all on the record. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is about the real deal, real here, right? Okay, what we're going to talk about today is horsepower. We're going to cover horsepower. We're going to discuss horsepower. We're going to discuss 700 50 watt motors. This is a 750 watt motor. This one right here is a actual 1500 watt motor. And if you look at them, man, they are almost identical. Get them up close. Look at it. Same weight. They weigh the same. Just about. I don't feel any weight difference. The windings are open on this one a little bit better. But they're more protected on that 1500 watt. This is a 1500 watt right here. And you see, that's what I was talking about. Why you don't want to put a lot of that. That um, if you're gonna use any type of um lithium or that type of grease, that's why you don't want to put too much. See how that got splayed thrown around. Now it's okay as long as it stay inside the so, Let's put this over here. Might not be able to see much of me, but it's not about me. It's about uh, what we're trying to save. You, you see in that hub? I hope that's showing up good. Look all the way around. And so this, why these little wheels, that right there is why these are plastic. That's also right here why you don't want to upgrade and put metal wheels in here. If you put metal wheels in here, that's aluminum. What you're going to do is instead of that being the point of where it gave, the weakest point, so that broke and it saved me my clutch. This is your clutch. That's where that wheel goes. You put this little wheel on here. And so if, it, if, it, if you're on a bad hill or something and that motor is overpowering, the teeth are designed to break before it breaks your aluminum teeth. You see them aluminum teeth in there? Aluminum is softer than steel and it'll crack or break faster than steel. So that's why they gave you those teeth. That's just why you don't wanna upgrade to um, metal gears. The metal gears are a no-no for these um, geared hub motors. Do not put the metal gears, I'm telling you, do not put metal gears in here because what will happen is when you hit something hard instead of that gear breaking which is designed to do that it is designed to do that so that you don't tear this up because if you have to get a whole nother rim you're going to spend uh probably a hundred dollars just to get that that motor part because that's what you're going to need your other motor if you tear those gears up good luck it's not your it's done it's done there is no repair motor for that. I can tell you that now. Because um, I've been looking for different motors and different parts and stuff. And I can tell you what's out there and what's not out there. You can get um, the smaller components and pieces like the clutch. You can get these nylon gears. Make sure you are aware of which, which number you're um, ordering when you do this. And we were going to talk about a little bit about horsepower today. Horsepower. How much is one of the okay so you see these two motors here They're, they look identical they look the same same size and everything i've already greased this one up this is my mock wheel motor that i took out and repaired this is the 1500 watt motor out of the move can i'm getting ready to slide this one into my other rim because my other um axle got got bent i think during the shipping I saw an impact place on the bike on the box where it got hit by something hard, probably a forklift, and it bent the axle, but it wasn't that bad until you get it at a high speed, you can feel it. All right, now, and I'm looking at this, on this one, they put a bead on here. That's what gives you your um, waterproof rating, so I got to put a bead back on here now. I bought gasket maker the oil resistant gasket maker so i'm gonna put this bead all the way around right here where they had it at 
so I can take this back to the IP, IP6 rating, waterproofing. And there was no water damage or no water in this motor whatsoever. But um, a 750 watt motor, if you want to know where that rates on horsepower, 750 watt is um, one horsepower. So this is a one horsepower motor. A 500 watt motor is two third horsepower. So you can use that as your basis for knowing what a horsepower rating is on these motors. So this 1500 watt motor right here is going to be a two horsepower motor. This one will make 200 will make two horsepower. This one will make one horsepower. That's that's the um the equation on how these break down into horsepower. Um, we're going to do measurements and changing the um, conversion measurements on I'm going to do a video on just conversion measurements because like um I see people looking to find out which rims which tires to put on the like 20 inch rim that's not a 20 inch rim it looks it says 20 inch but it's not the rim actually is 16 inches it's a 16 inch rim so if you go to order a motorcycle tire to put on one of these put back on your rim you're going to have to do a 16 inch and i don't see one for the 26 inch tire bikes i haven't seen one i've been looking for one but i have not seen one so far yet but if i if i find something i will let you know you know country boy test it's all about saving that money now that's what this channel is about it's about saving money you know keeping us keeping our product keeping our stuff on the road i'm going to do a more in-depth video here soon i just got a new camera in so i'm getting ready to go unbox the camera now and check it out and um get ready to set up so this is uh i'll be doing a few of these kind of videos but not that many i'm gonna be using my good camera i just got a good camera in um i'll be testing it out a little bit and we'll be using probably the next video i ain't gonna say the next video but hopefully the next video i have that camera running up and ready and i've learned it a little bit better it's a um it's a 360 camera so i gotta do a little research on it learn what i'm doing and how to shoot and I'm during, learning different video shots. This isn't my ball game. I'm all I'm uh, I'm here to just I, I, I love my e-bikes. Um, I have seven of them, and all I'm about this channel right here is about maintenance in your e-bike, getting the right type of e-bike for you, and not overpaying for an e-bike because you see the new laws have kicked in with 2025, and everyone is finding out exactly what i was saying all along hey some of these bikes it's, it don't make sense to buy them if it runs 40 miles an hour there's nowhere to ride it there's just nowhere by law you can ride that bike and i'm not making that and i'm not being hard on anybody i love the bikes too just as much as everybody else i want to take them ride them everywhere but we live in america where we have laws and rules we all know that when i was a kid riding my dirt bike on the road, I knew if I saw a police officer get off the road, hit the trails, and get out of the way. But now these kids are blatantly riding these these, and they are dirt bikes. Don't don't get your the um the Talaria and the Suron. Those are dirt bikes. Do not make a mistake and buy your kid one thinking they can ride it on the road and the cops gonna let them go with it. They will take the bike now. They have a picture. Um, the police are using. A little bulletin that shows all pictures of all the Surons and Talaria type bikes. Um, no pedals, anything like that. If it's rated over 750 watts, they're going to confiscate the bike. If you've never been on the road with a dirt bike and been stopped by the law, and they, you don't go home with the bike. If you put that bike on the road, they normally impound it. Then, like with a motorcycle, you got a fee. It's usually... Um, Back in the day, it was $10 a day while it sat in impoundment. I don't know what the fee is now, and you probably don't want to know either because you probably end up losing your bike. That's how stuff gets at these um, police auctions. Everyone knows about the state police auctions. They do them like once a year or twice a year in some places. I mean, that's where that, that stuff comes from. If it's illegal, they won't sell it. It'll be destroyed. But the stuff that, you know, they confiscate because the person is illegally operating it like cars and stuff like that, overpowered cars. Because if you do too much on a vehicle, you can't, and it's not road, you know, 
If they pull you over and it's not street legal, you're going to either have to tow that car or they're going to put it in impound right then and there. If you've dealt with the law, then you understand what I'm saying. I'm 56 and I don't play with the law because you will pay with the law when you play with the law. We wrote these rules to keep everybody safe. And I get it. I understand. I know we want to get out here and we want to fly, but you do that on the dirt and uh, where you take a dirt bike to. And if it's not the same, don't, don't even get one. It's no use to get a 70 mile per hour dirt bike and you know you can't put it on the road. It's illegal. It is illegal. So stop trying to take the e-bikes and just because they're electric, try to act like it's something different because that's what you're doing. But the police ain't falling for it. And now they're talking about confiscating. If it's a completely illegal bike, you you good. Good good luck with that. You're not getting that bike back because you it's not in even in the parameters of the um class one, two, or three e bike. When you build that bike at home, which is what I was about to do, which is what well, now void nil. I can't do it. I'm just gonna stick with what they say is lawfully okay to put on the road. If I want a motorcycle. If I want motorcycle performance, I would buy a motorcycle. It's less headaches, it's less problems. You ain't got to look over your shoulder. You ain't got to worry about it. I love the e-bikes, but um, as far as the long range for right now, until we check, till we get these, these um, long range battery packs and stuff that we can use, and we know they're certified safe, until we can get into that really a, a long range bike. The only way you really want to do it a long range electric bike, it should be 90, it, it, it at least 90. I know you don't want to hear this. It should be at at least 90, around 96 volts. Now, I got that from learning from them because they, they already have electric motorcycles and all this stuff. You got kids out here overspending to make a bike run a motorcycle's parameters, and they'll never be able to legally put that bike anywhere but on a dirt trail. So remember that. Don't overspend so you can make a very overpriced dirt bike. Because that's all you're going to do. And you can go out and, and buy one. You can just go buy a Suron or a Talaria already ready to go for in the five six thousand dollar range and save the money of trying to upgrade your normal bike to run that fast one your bearings and stuff in these bikes these smaller bikes are not rated for those speeds i'm not making that up please call a motorcycle shop and ask them about what they use as far as bearings most of the bearings on the front wheel of bikes are sealed not these little bikes this the bikes that we're riding you'd be shocked i've took apart a couple of them and i'm shocked that there's there's no universal anything with these e-bikes. One company might put cheap stuff in it. The other company might put top-of-the-line product. Like Mock Wheel, they put top-of-the-line everything in here. So that's why you pay about $600 extra when you order like a Mock Wheel. Because you see, they got a sealed motor on it. Everything is good. And I've sprayed that motor. All it took to rebuild this motor was putting another wheel on it. And it's ready to go back in action. My crazy tail went out and bought a whole nother rim. So I guess what I'm going to do with that other rim, I'm going to take it off because this motor is faster than the new 750 I just put on it. They are changing the windings and how the motors perform. So it don't matter if you put a new controller there. They're controlling them now through the motor. The motor won't perform. I don't care what you, if you just put... An over um, too many amps on it, it'll just melt the wirings. They've changed everything now. So don't overspend and lose your money. And then you're going to be mad when you do. You don't buy, um, you know, you don't go out and buy a little pocket chainsaw and spend $500 to turn it into a $900 chainsaw. No one does that. It's, it's illogical. You're just wasting your money. And then it's just something you're playing with and having fun. Um, that's all we're going to cover today. We're going to be talking about some um, horsepower here. Um, we got that covered. So just remember, 750 watts equals one horsepower. 1,500 watts, two horsepower. 500 watts, two-thirds horsepower. There go your ratings right there. Remember, don't upgrade this right here. I'm showing you that now. If you put that metal wheel in there, you're going to cry. You're going to crap when it jams in there, when it when it tears the teeth out of this aluminum hub. So don't do that. They